Now this question number 143, which of the following is the least likely to be involved in stabilizing the three dimensional folding of most proteins. Now by three dimensional folding the protein becomes globular and during this formation there are number of bonds formed like hydrogen bonds are there, electrostatic interactions, there are hydrophobic interactions between the hydrophobic R group of the amino acids but in this case there is no ester bonds because ester bonds are formed when there is a reaction between a carboxyl group and a hydroxyl group and such bonds we can see during the formation of the lipids where a fatty acid the carboxyl group of the fatty acid esterifies with the OH of the alcohol or even when there is a reaction between phosphoric acid and the OH of a ribose or a deoxyribose sugar. So this is not seen there in the case of proteins. So our answer is option number 4. So let us move on to the next question 144. Now in this question 144, we have a graph here which is showing potential energy and the reaction in the graph. Now in this case as we see here, here B is the activation energy required for the reaction to occur and that would be in the absence of the enzyme and in the presence of the enzyme the activation requ energy required is A which is certainly lesser than when the reaction occurs without enzyme and this is the amount of free energy which is released. This is free energy released. Now if the energy is being released in the reaction that means it is an exothermic reaction. If it was an endothermic reaction it would have been like this where the substrate is at lower energy state while the product is at higher energy state that means it has absorbed the energy. So once we see the options here there are two options with endothermic reaction so we can directly rule them out. The remaining two options are with exothermic. So we can read these options exothermic reaction with energy A in the presence of the enzyme. So this is smaller energy required in the presence of the enzyme and B in the absence of enzyme. So this is the correct choice while in the fourth choice there it is given exothermic but the it is opposed that B is in the presence of enzyme is given which is certainly wrong. So our answer is option number 2. So next move on to the next question 145. 